Welcome to another Wire Pro video. In this video, we're going to go into more detail and showing you how to lay out some electrical circuits uh, utilizing the symbols that we have available, uh, as well as uh, how to wire them up using our wires. To start with, we have a blank floor plan here that we're going to use uh, that we have all set up for us. We're just going to zoom into an area. And again, to do that, uh, we discussed in the other videos, if you hold down uh, your Z button on your keyboard and just uh, highlight an area that you want to zoom to and then release, it'll zoom right into that for you. And just to review, uh, over here on the left, as we click the different sections, the symbols available for that section will appear down below. So as we're clicking on down here, let's say on the power, uh, we have the symbols that will be available. We have not added a circuit yet, so these ones are blank. Uh, but if we go to like plumbing, uh, electrical appliances, and walls, windows, and doors. And just to get started, what we're going to do under the walls, windows, and doors section, we're going to go ahead and lock um, those. That way we don't accidentally move them around as we're uh, working in this area here. So we're going to go back to the power section. And we're going to add a new circuit. And let's just begin with uh, some receptacles in our living room. So we're just going to call this living receptacles, recepts for short, and we have the option here to choose all the symbols that we have available or just the common power. We're going to go ahead and just click the common power and click OK. And now here's our circuit available to us over here on the left. As we click on that, we have some options that will appear over on the right on the property section here. We can change the circuit name, we can highlight the entire circuit, highlight just the symbols that are on the circuit, duplicate the circuit, or delete the circuit. And so we clicked here and down below, here's our symbols. We got receptacles, switches, outlets, lights, fans, and heaters. And we're just going to go to the receptacles. We're going to choose the duplex receptacle here. Now here we have a symbol that uh, is at a pretty good size that we um, could probably use pretty well. But if you weren't satisfied with the size of that, uh, what you can do is adjust your scale um, to fit the size that you want. Let's just go ahead and adjust that a little bit here. Just to show you an extreme case, you can bump up the symbol size here. But we're going to go ahead and drop it down. Let's go to that size. And then now as we place each symbol, it'll come in uh, at that particular size. So let's just begin. We're going to go ahead and uh, place a few symbols here. And these symbols will snap to the wall. So as you see, I'm a little ways away from the wall. As I click, it's just going to snap right to it. And same thing on rotation. Depending on which side of the wall I'm at, uh, the symbol is going to rotate to the wall. And if you want to manually rotate it, um, we always have the option uh, over in the uh, property section here, the, key, the keyboard R offset value, which is currently set to 90. As we just press the R key, it's just going to rotate manually. And I'm also dragging while I have the symbol still uh, active. And to do that, you just hold in your mouse scroll wheel and drag to the area that you want. And we'll just click a few receptacles here. All right, and then uh, to deselect that, we just right click. All right, so now we have a, a set of receptacles here along our wall. And if I click that receptacle, I immediately am brought to that circuit. If I had another circuit going on and I had some receptacles and I were to click on that, it would actually change to that circuit. So we instantly have access to adjust some things that are on that circuit. And as I click each individual symbol here, uh, we have properties for those symbols. And just to show you as an example, let's go ahead and work with some colors here. Um, so we have these receptacles. Uh, these are the only ones on our screen right now. So I'm going to right click. And I'm going to use this option where I'm going to select by object type. And I'm just going to select what we have on our screen is a series of things. One of them is a receptacle. So I click on that. And it just highlights all my duplex receptacles. And I'm just going to change the color of these. Uh, let's just go with red. So this is a quick way to uh, adjust all the colors of various symbols and things that you might want. And just to briefly show you uh, something to take notice of, uh, let's click on one of these receptacles. Uh, down below here, we have an inventory option. And what we can do is we can uh, assign these symbols to an inventory object. Um, so we hit select. Let me zoom this down here. 
And so now I have my inventory manager. And let's just open this up a little bit. And so this particular one, we have a duplex receptacle. And we're just going to click this one that we have in the options here. And this will be tied to our, our database. Uh, if we have a particular cost that we want to uh, associate with these receptacles we're using, um, reports and different things can be generated later. Um, so something you might want to um, keep in mind as you're working with the Wire Pro here. And this will be discussed more uh, in our inventory uh, video that we will go through more of this in detail. So let's go ahead and add another circuit now. Uh, we're going to add a lighting circuit. So we're just going to be over on power and we're going to go to add a new circuit. Let's just call this living lights. And again, we'll just go ahead and choose common power. And so whatever circuit that you have uh, highlighted, as you're placing symbols, um, those symbols are going to be placed on that circuit. So you might want to uh, watch to see what circuit that you have highlighted as you're working. Let's just go ahead and go to the switch. Let's grab, let's grab a three-way switch here. Let's place a couple of those. Right click to unselect it. And let's go to the lights. Let's grab some recessed lights. And I'm going to make these a little bit larger. Okay, and I'm going to right click to unselect it. Now let's just go ahead and run some wires. And to do that, you just go into your symbol section and you have a couple options. You have this sweeping wire, uh, and I like to use this curved wire also, but let me go ahead and just use this sweeping wire to show you. Click on that, and what we want to do is we'll want to set the bulge percentage, and this is basically going to be the curve. And I'm going to set that to 45. Okay, and so what I do is I just begin. Um, start at my switch here and go to my first light and I'm going to click again and I'm just going to keep clicking around and these are placing new wires each time I click okay and right click to unselect and if we want to change the coloring on the wiring that we have here what we can do is uh, if I left click to select one I can go around and if I hold down my control button on my keyboard, as I select, it's going to highlight the group, uh, the different objects. It's going to add them to the group that I'm highlighting here. And we can just go and we can change the color of those wires. Let's go with the blue. And it looks like we missed a wire here, so let's go ahead and go back here. And we're going to grab this sweeping wire again. And we'll click to this last switch here. Okay. And at any time, if you uh, are going to print or export or you just want to view things a little differently, uh, what you can do is over on that particular circuit, you can choose to either show the wires or not show the wires. Uh, it just depends on, on how you want to display things. Uh, so you can always have the option of changing that up. Even though you have them in there, uh, you can easily take them out just by uh, utilizing this option here. So let's go ahead and, and uh, just show some wiring on these receptacles. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this other one um, called the curved wire. And we're just going to keep it at uh, 45 degree. And so that allows us to easily draw. And we're going to change the color to match the receptacles. Let's just go with red. All right, so let's just start on this receptacle over here. And I'm going to click to set my starting point. I'm going to go up a little ways, click again. And then I'm going to click and then go down and then I'm going to right click and that'll set the first wire and I'm just going to keep doing this along the line here Okay, and then just right click when we're finished. And if we don't want to show uh, these wires, we always have the option of um, unchecking that show wires, which we already do. And in this case, um, we've already done something here that uh, will be good to show you. So under my uh, living lights circuit, if we uncheck the show wires, you'll notice that all my wires unchecked. 
So what I did was I uh, ended up placing my receptacle wires on the same circuit as the light circuit. So I'm going to check that again so I can see. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, left click and we're going to select each of these wires by holding down the control. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move these over to my receptacle circuit. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, now right click and I'm going to choose uh, cut and then I'm going to go over to the living uh, receptacle circuit and I'm going to click that and then right click and I'm going to choose paste. Okay, and so here's the wires. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move this down, get this uh, placed in a, a general location here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this uh, function that we have. Uh, if you hold down the shift key and drag, it's going to drag uh, straight across in a line. And so if I stop dragging one way, I can begin dragging the other way. And it's this is going up perfectly vertical here. Same with the horizontal. So I can align it on the vertical and the horizontal here. So I'm going to scroll this over and align that right there. Okay. And now if we click the receptacle circuit, I can uncheck the show wires. And you'll notice now that it's also on a different circuit now. And there we have a couple circuits here for you. And just to show you over here, uh, under the power section, uh, that's where you'll put uh, your power circuits. And then you have the structured section also. And we'll just uh, show you here real quick. We'll add a circuit. And let's just go ahead and go all on this one. And then we'll click on this circuit. And here we have all the various um, symbols that are associated to the structure wiring. So we have audio, video, uh, security, different types of fans, intercoms, um, network stuff. Um, and that way you can uh, set up your structured wiring and stuff as well. And here we have a finished sample uh, of another project that we have where you can see all the different uh, circuits that we have. Uh, we have a couple structured circuits uh, and several uh, circuits in the power section as well. And thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check out our other videos on the Residential Wire Pro.